Hey, this is Corey Knight with Classroom Tech Made Simple, a guy who is a Harry Potter fan. And in today's video tutorial series, we're going to talk about random generators in the classroom, specifically the apps Decide Now. There is a paid version that's 99 cents and a light version, and I'll talk about the differences between those two. The second is called Roundum Decision Maker. And then there is a web based tool called WheelDecide.com. Random generators in the classroom. Um, they can create game-based learning options and random samplers within the classroom. It helps create an environment in the classroom where students get excited about different learning opportunities. It allows you as a teacher to create a random generator for answering questions, classroom tasks, or even assignment options. And we've always been talking about web's depth of knowledge. This really isn't applicable uh, because it's just another tool that you use in your classroom. So uh, disregard web's depth of knowledge when we're talking about random generators. So the outcome from this tutorial is that we're no longer going to have boring seat work. I'm going to show you how to get around that. We're going to learn about the app functionality of the three apps and the one web-based tool. I'm going to teach you how to get students excited about learning using these tools. And I'm going to give you some more potential uses for random generators in the classroom. So let's go ahead and get started with these three apps and one web-based tool. Okay, so let's jump right into random generators. These are the three apps that we're going to be looking at, and we're also going to be looking at a web-based random generator as well. So the first one we're going to look at is Decide Now. There's a Decide Now free and a Decide Now that is 99 cents. I did pay 99 cents for uh, the paid version because you can change the categories in the random generator. So let's look at Decide Now, the light version. It's created the random generator for you, and it's asking what you should do when you go out tonight. If you go to the settings button, you can change so no more boring work. You can change the category, uh, but notice that you cannot edit the categories. So no more boring work is the one associated with school. This would be something that you would do if you're going to give out a certain question or a certain task to your kids. It's got all kinds of different categories on here. It says switch seats, under desk, take a break, work with music. So you would give your students this option. You click the middle button and it spins and randomly generates a category. So you'd have your students switch the seat. You can deactivate this category by hitting the deactivate button. All right, so that is the free version. We're gonna now go to the paid version. Okay, so the paid version, which is 99 cents, and I know that it's a paid version and the majority of our apps on Classroom Tech Made Simple are all free. This is one of the only ones that is paid that I actually promote uh, because I, you know, 99 cents really isn't that much in the scope of things and it's worth it to me as a teacher to be able to edit these categories. So if you go to settings, uh, you can change the sound, you can change the theme, you can do a quick stop and then at the bottom here you're gonna hit this plus button. You can title the wheel name, so I'm going to title it test wheel just for tutorial purposes. You can change the color scheme of the wheel. And then I'm going to hit add label. You have to have two labels and those labels are the categories within the wheel. So maybe you are creating a random generator for uh, students that are going to be answering questions. That's one way that you can use this. You're going to add the students names here. So I'm going to click save and then I'm going to add another label. Add all my different labels here. And I'm going to click Save. And you can see my different labels here. It creates a wheel for all of them. So you can add all of your students in this particular category so that when you want to ask a question, you can have a random generator for your students' names. So that is the basic function of Decide Now. All right, the next one is Roundum. So this is another random generator. This is a free version, and this one has kind of a dice feature. So it's got different features here. Um, you can either click yes or no. You spin it, and you gotta click stop. So that is a random dice feature here. If you click the plus minus button, you can change the number of sectors. Um, this would be something that you would use for like probability in a, in a math class. You can change the icons. You can change the number of features. Now with this one, before you get the paid version, if you, you can only have four sectors 
um, in this spinner. So if you'd like to you know, get the premium version for 99 cents, you can add up to 52 different sections in this random generator. So this is that free version. You can load the different spinners here. Here's a four-sided one. Um, here's a four cardinal directions one. Um, maybe a six-sided die. They have different categories here that you can look up. Maybe you have questions about the decades for history class or music genres. Um, they've got different cardinal directions. Here's a Wheel of Fortune one. But you're going to notice that it has a locked button on here. And the reason is, is because they want you to have the paid version. So this is a little bit limited in comparison to the other ones until you have the paid version of Roundum as well. Okay, so I know two of those are paid versions, but there are free versions that are a little less limited. But I found one online called wheeldecide.com, which works with an iPad, and it's completely free. So if you would like to modify the wheel, you can click Modify Wheel. Down here it gives you this category, and you can enter um, up to 100 choices. In each of these bars, you write whatever you want in this wheel. If you want to add a wheel, you hit Add Choice. You can title the wheel. You can create dynamic wheels. Uh, this is specific to like locations, events, restaurants, movies to go see. And it also gives you some games that you can use wheeldecide.com for. There's an education category, and it suggests that you can add vocabulary terms. And it's a great substitute for studying flashcards, things like that. You can have your students create these wheels. So this is a free tool that you can use. Whenever you want to use it, you just click the button and it spins. And you can see this would be like what you're eating for dinner. It's going to create that for you. So if I'm going to modify this wheel, I'm going to go ahead and modify this. Maybe we're doing a vocab session in history. I'm going to apply the wheel changes, and you can see right here it has automatically changed it to uh, the vocab words that I've created. I can spin it, and this is a good way to review vocabulary words. I really like wheeldecide.com because it's completely free. Um, you can utilize and modify the wheel as much as you want. The one way that wheeldecide.com makes their money is by having these ads across the bottom, so you're just going to have to deal with the ads being there. Okay, so that is random generators. I hope that you use these in your classroom. It is a good way to have uh, game-based learning, and you can utilize this as much as possible um, in various different ways. If you have any questions, always feel free to contact me at Corey at classroomtechmadesimple.com. We'll see you next video.